Okay, how you doing? Uh, my name's Michael Burke. I'm going to be uh, trying to show you a little bit how to go about arranging tunes for solo guitar. And I get asked uh, a lot about how to do this. Uh, and it's uh, it ain't easy. Uh, but it can be one of the most satisfying and enjoying things to do, on, enjoyable things to do on the guitar. Um, I'm going to try and make one lesson a week. Uh, and hopefully, uh, over the course of how many weeks it takes, you'll get a better understanding about how to go and do this for yourself. Uh, there is no one hard and fast method for this, so I'm going to try and explain to you various different methods, one each week. Uh, so hopefully, by the end of it, you should have a range of different things you can uh, chuck into your own playing and your own your own songs as well. You don't have to arrange other people's tunes to do this. So I'm going to start off by playing a little clip of a song that I'm uh, currently working on. It's by Audio Slave, and it's called Like a Stone. If you haven't heard it, uh, YouTube it. It's, uh, it's a cool song. And uh, I'm showing you this one in particular because it's uh, an unlikely song to cover, because it's from a rock band. Um, I'm going to go play you a little bit of it, and then we'll try and break it down. Uh, right, Let's see if I can do this. Like a Stone. So you can hear me a little bit better. That was a very shaky rendition of Like a Stone by Audio Slave. I'm working on it, that's my excuse. All right. So I haven't put uh, a full YouTube video up on it yet. When I finish it, then uh, you guys will be the first to see it. Before I start, I should mention that I'm tuned a little bit differently for this song. I've taken the E, low E, to an F, half a step up, and I've done the same with the A to a B flat. Um, I do this because B flat and F are two of the uh, predominant chords in this song, and uh, having them played, the, uh, the root notes played with an open string allows my left hand to be a bit more freed up to do other other things. Uh, the majority of songs I cover are generally in standard tuning, uh, so don't worry too much about finding new tunings for this. Uh, start off in standard tuning. You, I could have played this song in standard tuning, it's just slightly easier uh, because I don't have to uh, constantly be playing root notes with my left hand, I can use the open strings. Right, this is how you do it, this is how I did it for this particular song. You listen to the song a thousand times until you know every little nuance of the song. Next thing you do is you work out the chords and you uh, learn to play the chords over the top of the record. The initial chords for the intro of this song are G. B flat, F, and C. 
for each of those chords, I'm not actually playing them. I'm playing slight variations just to sound a bit cooler. Uh, the G is more or less straight. The B flat, I play like that. A normal B flat, if it was in standard tuning, would be in this position here. With my tuning, I can take that finger off. And that would be a normal B flat. What I've done is I've, I've raised my little finger two frets. And that just produces a, a kind of cooler sound, I think, you know. It's still a B flat, it's just, um, just sounds a little bit more interesting. So any chord you can find, uh, a regular chord, if you can change one or two notes while still keeping the essence of the chord, um, all the better. Uh, so, G, B flat, F. Again, my F is uh, slightly different to normal. If I was playing an F normally, it'd be like that, or like that. What I'm doing here is I'm taking my... Uh, Second finger off, playing that open G string, so I've got an F9. And then a C. And instead of playing a normal C, that would be that, but in my tuning that, I'm replacing the uh, first finger with uh, the D note on the B string. And muting the D string here. Producing a kind of sus chord. But again, you could just easily use a C. So that's our chords. The first thing you do is you play the chords over the recording. You get the rhythm, you get the groove set in your head and you make sure you can play that on the guitar. The next thing you have to do is uh, remove the chords and just play the root notes of each chord. By just playing the root notes of each chord, you now have a bass line. Uh, quite a simple bass line, and you can, we can, we'll look at expanding on bass lines in a later lesson probably, but for now that's a good enough bass line to be getting on with. Uh, just by playing the bass line, in this context, in this key, the listener is hearing. You're implying to the listener the rest of the chord. When you're just playing, the listener really in his head is thinking, is really hearing the whole G chord. In the same way, when you hit that F, the listener is hearing. You won't realize he's hearing it, but he is. Uh, right, where do you go from there? Right, you've got your bass line. You know what the chords are, but you're not using them. The next thing, you have to work out the melody. The melody in this introduction, I'm going to talk in later lessons about uh, you playing the melody on the on the top two strings and if you can get away with playing the melody on the top two strings I'd advise it because that leaves you more strings down below to do other things with. Uh, but as this is a, a kind of groovy song, Chris Cornell the singer of Audio Slave sings in quite a deep voice, I wanted to get the melody as, as far down as I can while still being able to play the bass line and uh, some chords in the background. So for now my melody is really on the the middle two strings and uh, a bit on the top string. The next thing you have to do is be able to play both those two things together. The bass line and the chords. Now I'm going to quickly show you how to do it, then I'm going to cut off and uh, you'll, I'll, uh, I'll quickly make a lesson part B and we'll discuss a bit more of it. So. chords and the uh, and the melody together now that's no easy task by any means but I'll explain how to do it in a second 